بريزيدنت عبد الفتاح السيسي is going now to deliver a speech commemorating the martyrs. Before I give you my condolences, I'm not just giving my condolences to the Christians, our brothers, or the Pope, or you, the Popes and the priests. I'm giving my condolences to all Egyptians. Before coming here, I was sure that I should be here with you. And he who did this is a young man, and his name is Mahmoud Shafiq Muhammad Mustafa. His name is Mahmoud Shafiq Muhammad Mustafa. And he did a suicide attack inside the church. He's 22 years old. And uh, we have arrested uh, three plus a woman, and we are still about to, to detain other three. Yesterday, uh, they spent the whole night collecting uh, the corpse uh, of uh, this uh, suicide bomber. This uh, is the person who did uh, the suicide attack. We could not have been able to be here unless we have known all this information. Let's talk about uh, the messages we would like to deliver to the Egyptians. This funeral is for all Egyptians. This funeral we are attending today is not just for the Christians. It is for all of us. Because this does not affect you only. It affects all of us because we said that, they, that we are all one thing. You know, disappointment, you know, frustration. Those who found that they are frustrated and cannot do anything to the Egyptians for three years, they have been trying to harm us. They were trying to harm the economy, but nothing happened. Uh, terrorist attacks, uh, nothing has changed in this country. They tried to destabilize the country, but all this was in vain. Because of their frustration, they did this. Uh, you should understand this, that they did this because of their frustration, because uh, they do not know what to do with the Egyptians. They do not know what to do with the Egyptians. Uh, Prices soared, uh, but the Egyptians are supporting the country. No tourism, but they are, Egyptians are going on. So they decided to do this. The Egyptians, 75 churches were destroyed, and yet the Egyptians are one hand. So you need to understand that after detaining those people, we are going to take revenge from those who did it. The government and the parliament need to move quicker because of the laws that are shackling the justice and the judiciary should be amended and changed. The judiciary won't be able to deal with such things quickly, so we need to introduce new laws that would deal with terrorism in a stronger manner. Anyone who would target our security, the security of our country, and would try to harm our beloved ones and our sons should be confronted strongly. And relentlessly. There are a lot of things that we do not say. You do not know uh, the volume of success we have achieved even in confronting terrorism. You do not know uh, the level of success we reached in Sinai. It's a very big success and that's why I'm saying that what happened is not because of uh, security problems. If I want to uh, comfort you, I would say a lot of things, but I do not do this. I'm always honest with you. So we are undertaking the procedures that should be undertaken. You need all to understand again that what happened yesterday is because of their frustration. And they would 
never be able to do anything. They are the ones who are not frustrated, and it's not us. They won't never be able to make us feel frustrated or disappointed so long as we are together one block hand in hand we are going to be successful because we are the people of uh, good and not the people of evil we are the people of construction and not destruction the people of reform and not uh, destroy so my condolences to all of you my condolences to all of the egyptians i'm not going to send my condolences to the christians in particular i will send my condolences to all egyptians and would like also to say to all the egyptians uh, that uh, this attack was very painful it caused a lot of pain to all of us but it is never going to break us we are going to be stronger, we'll stand up on our feet and we'll be strong as usual. And this war, God willing, God willing, God willing, would be, we would be victorious in it. So once again, uh, please accept my condolences. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much.